Meantime, in the wake of a report that shook the professional soccer world, Portland's women's team is now facing even more scrutiny. Both the National Women's Soccer League and the Portland Thorns have confirmed that the team's head athletic director, or trainer rather, and one of the assistant coaches were recently fired for misconduct. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas is live at Providence Park with what fans and the team are saying tonight. Adrian. Well, Pete Riel, the National Women's Soccer League published its findings today after an investigation into recent misconduct allegations within the Thorns organization. This is the third scandal in recent months to hit the Thorns franchise. It's a shock to some fans, but they say they'll still keep showing up to games. I'm still going to keep my season tickets. We're pretty loyal. Portland Thorns fan PJ Gibson says he couldn't believe there is yet another scandal rocking Providence Park. The first complaint involves one of the Thorns athletic directors, Pierre Sobrier. He's accused of giving unprescribed medication containing codeine to a player during the playoffs this past season. The second complaint involves assistant coach Sophie Clow. The report says she made a player feel uncomfortable by kissing her on the neck after the team won the NWSL championship in Washington, D.C. in November. I was pretty surprised, uh, to be honest. I thought it was just the old news coming out about the, the former head coach uh, who resigned, but to have two firings in one day is a lot. This latest scandal comes after former head coach Wilkinson resigned last month after she revealed she and a Thorns player expressed a romantic interest in one another. And prior to that, a bombshell scandal that came to light back in September that alleged former Thorns head coach Paul Riley sexually harassed multiple Thorns players back in 2015. A spokesperson for the Thorns and Portland Timbers released the following statement about this latest scandal, which reads, quote, the club reported to the league and fully cooperated with the league's investigation into the allegations of misconduct by head athletic trainer Pierre Sabrier and assistant coach Sophie Klo. Upon receiving the NWSL's final investigative findings, the club has terminated the employment of both Sabrier and Klo. The health and safety of the players is our utmost priority. Despite another setback, fans are hoping for another successful season in 2023. My hope is that it doesn't affect the players on the field. Um, or the feel of the organization as a whole. And about two weeks ago, the Thorns appointed a new head coach, Mike Norris, to take over for Rianne Wilkinson, who stepped down in December. In Southwest Portland, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.